Greetings and welcome. Today we will discuss about the geometrical construction in engineering drawing. Because during the preparation of the drawing, some construction may be required. For example, we may have to divide a line, construct a triangle and bisect an angle. Similarly, we may have to construct a pentagon, hexagon, heptagon and so on. There are some basic prerequisites to prepare an accurate geometrical construction. Students should have this prior knowledge for this chapter or these topics. For example, the knowledge of the line type and their uses. We have discussed in our previous discussion about the line type and their uses as per ISI 1972. Learners should have the skills of using drawing instruments. For what purpose which instrument is used, how to draw parallel lines, vertical lines, inclined lines and so on. And of course, geometrical construction requires the basic knowledge of geometry from the school levels. In this video, we will demonstrate some of the basic construction methods. And this is not a complete list, but if these skills are developed, the learners can proceed for the next steps. The demonstration will be done using some virtual applications only but the students have to do the practice with the actual drawing instrument only. Then only they can develop the required skills. So in this video we will divide an 11 cm long line into 7 equal parts. 11 cm that means 110 mm. If we divide it by 7 that is approximately is equal to 1.57 cm. By using a normal scale, we cannot mark this distance. So we have to adopt some other methods, which is extensively used in engineering drawing. And for that, we learn the method of dividing a line into equal number of parts. We will also draw a 70 degree angle and bisect it by using compass only. We will also construct a 60 degree angle with the help of compass and scales. And we will divide a circle into equal number of parts. And in our example, we will divide the circle to 12 equal number of parts. We will draw a triangle with the help of compass and scale where the measurement of the sides are given 5 cm, 6 cm and 8 cm. And we will also construct a regular hexagon with the given dimensions of the sides. Say for a regular polygon, the n number of sides, the internal angle is n minus 2 divided by n multiplied by 180 degree. So for a triangle, if it is a regular polygon, then n is equal to 3. So the angle, internal angle is 60 degree. For a square, which is a regular polygon again, n is equal to 4 and internal angle is equal to 90 degree. For a pentagon, n is equal to 5. So the internal angle for a pentagon is equal to 108 degree. Similarly, for a hexagon, n is equal to 6. So it will give the internal angle equal to 120 degree. This is the angle 120. 20 degree. So we will construct this type of hexagon and moreover we will also construct a regular pentagon by using proper engineering drawing methods. So let us dive into the next section of the videos. So the line is 11 cm long and we have to divide it into 7 equal parts. Now if we divide 11 cm or 110 mm by 7 then we get the figure 1.57 cm and that is equal to 15.7 mm. By using a ruler it is very difficult to divide 15.7 mm. This is a centimeter millimeter ruler. So from the scale we can see the 15.7 mm is equal to something like from here it is 110 millimeter and again 15 this is equal to 15 millimeter then it is equal to 15.7 or so. So it is not so easy to draw this type of line with accuracy and for that there is a technique to divide 
a line in two equal parts by using scale, set square and many drafter. Let us first draw a line which is equal to 110 millimeter or 11 centimeter. So we will start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and this is 11 centimeter. So this is a line which is equal to 11 centimeter long say then line is A, B. We are to divide the line AB into 7 equal parts. First you have to draw the line AB with the help of T square or mini drafter. Then the next step we have to draw an inclined line. This is a line inclined to the line AB and this for this the angle of inclination should be theta should be less than 90 degree that means it is better if the angle is an acute angle. So by using a scale we have to make seven equal divisions and while using a drawing sheet and set square etc you have to use, you can use the divider and also use the ruler to divide seven equal divisions. So if in our case I will divide it with the help of scale, scale only. Suppose this is one two, three, four, five, six and this is seven. So these are all some equal divisions say this is one dash, this is two dash, three dash, four dash, five days, six days, seven days. We have seven equal divisions or parts. Now the next step is to join the seven point with that of the point B. So remember you have to use one mini drifter or a scale for this type of construction. First, we'll join these two points 7 days and B. Next, since we have got one line, now we can draw parallel line. And now we can draw lines parallel to the line 7 days B. And for that, you can use mini drifter or set square combination of the set squares. So this way, you can draw. This is the second line. This is another parallel line. And therefore we get the equal divisions like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So this way we can divide one line by drawing one inclined line. A convenient length of line which can be divided easily with the help of a divider or with the help of a scale also. Remember the angle of inclination should be less than 90 degree that means it should be an acute angle. Better to have an acute angle less than 90 degree. You can draw 90 degree also. So this way we divide the line AB is equal to 11 centimeter and this each division is approximately is equal to 15.7 millimeter that we can check with the help of this ruler also. You can see this length is approximately is equal to 15.7. Okay. Now we'll try to construct an angle, say CAB, 
and that angle has to be bisected by a line say AF. So the bisected angle FAB will be equal to 35 degree. So let us construct the angle CAB first. So let us construct the angle CAB first. To do that we have to draw a line AB with the help of a scale T square or mini drafter. So locate the two points A and B and join AB with the help of mini drafter T square or a scale. Now measure an angle of 70 degree and locate the point C. Now join point A and C and this CAB is 70 degree now. CA line can be extended beyond C also. Now with the help of a protector, we can check whether the angle is 70 degree or not. This is 70 degree. Now taking A as a center, draw an arc to cut the previous two lines at a point D and E respectively. Remember, this radius can be taken conveniently and taking D as a center, draw another arc with any radius and with same radius as previous, draw another arc taking E as a center to cut the previous arc. Suppose both the arcs cut at a point F. So join the point A and F and it can be extended beyond F. So we can measure the angle FAB with the help of a protector and this is 35 degree. That means the line FA bisect the angle CAB and the angle of bisection is 35 degree and original angle was 70 degree. This way we can bisect any angle with the help of scale T square or mini drifter and compass only. Now we will construct a 60 degree angle with the help of compass and scale only. We have to construct an angle DAB which is 60 degree and to use the compass and scale only. To do that first we will draw the line AB. So locate the point A and B on the drawing set and with the help of T square mini drafter or scale draw a line AB. Line AB. Now taking A as a center and taking any radius, draw an arc to cut the line AB at a point say C. Now taking C as a radius and same radius as the previous, draw another arc to cut the previous arc at a point say D. Now join AD and extend it. Now with the help of a protector we can measure this angle DAB is equal to 60 degree. So this way we can construct a 60 degree angle with the help of compass. Moreover we can construct 30 degree angle because by bisecting the 60 degree angle we can construct a 30 degree angle also. Even we can construct 15 degree angle also by bisecting the 30 degree angle. Okay, now we will draw a circle of 6 cm radius or 12 cm diameter. Okay, we have a circle of 12 cm diameter or 6 cm radius and we have to divide the circumference of this circle into 12 equal parts and we will do it with the help of a scale and 
compass now let us draw a circle first now first locate the center of the circle o and taking o as the center and 6 cm as radius draw a circle whose diameter is 12 and draw the horizontal diameter like this with the help of a scale let the line be a and b both a and b are on the circumference of the circle also draw another particle di uh, diameter of the circle and name it as c and d so we get four points till now now taking a as a center and 6 cm as the radius that means radius of the original circle draw two arcs to cut the circle at point E and F again take, taking D as the center draw two more arcs cutting the original circle at point Z and H for all these arcs the radius should be 6 cm that means radius of the original circle so taking B as the center we get two points I and J again taking C as the center draw two more arcs cutting the original circle at point K and L we get 12 points A, B, C, D up to L that means we have divided the circumference of the whole circle into equal parts and these parts are like A, L, L, E these are the segment of the whole circle L, E is the arc E, C is another part of the circle that is arc so this way we can divide the circumference of the circle with the help of compass and scale into 12 equal parts Okay, now we are to construct a triangle ABC. The side AB should be 5 cm long and side BC is 8 cm long and side AC should be 6 cm long. That means the three sides of the triangle are given and we are to construct a required triangle. So we'll start with line AB first. So construct a line AB which should be 5 cm long. So AB is 5 cm long line. Now taking A as the center, draw an arc with 6 cm radius. And taking B as center, draw another arc whose radius is 8 cm long. Now both the arcs cut at a point say C. Now join AC which is equal to 6 cm and join BC which is equal to 8 cm. So this way we construct the triangle. We can also measure the angle if required. The angle is approximately 90. 93 degree that is actually 92.9 degree and angle a b c is equal to 48.5 degree so a, so we have constructed the triangle with sides a b equal to 5 centimeter a c equal to 6 centimeter and b c is equal to 8 centimeter okay now let us draw one regular hexagon of side 6 centimeter as we know, a semicircle has total 180 degree and the internal angle of a regular hexagon is 120 degree. And from that principle, we will draw the regular hexagon. First, let us complete the construction of a semicircle. Draw a semicircle and O is the center of the semicircle. We can complete the semicircle by joining the point A, O and X. 
so ox is radius of the semicircle which is 6 cm and we can extend it from o to a so a x or x a is 12 cm now we locate a point b at an angle of 30 degree with o a and extend this line similarly we will draw another 30 degree angle first locate the point c at an angle of 30 degree and complete the line and extend it draw another line at an angle of 30 degree after locating the point d so till now we have completed 90 degree another line at an angle of 30 degree locate the point E and extend it another line at an angle of 30 degree locate the point F and extend the line now OE extended this line cuts the semicircle at point E and taking E as the draw one arc taking 6 cm radius and this arc will cut the OD extended line at point D now again taking D as the center and 6 cm radius cut uh, draw one arc to cut the OC extended at point E we can take we can take C as the center or A as the center in both the cases, we will get a point B. Now we join each point A, B. This is one of the sides of the regular hexagon. Join B, C, another side of the hexagon. Then C, D, another side and DE is the closing side of the hexagon and this completes the hexagon OA, AB, C, D, E, O. Now we can measure the internal angle of a hexagon is 120 degree. We can also measure the individual angles which are 30 degree for each division. This is 30 degree, this is also 30 degree and this is 30 degree. So this way we divide the semicircle that means 180 degree and from OA to OE this angle is also 120 degree that is another internal angle. So this way by constructing a semicircle first and dividing the semicircle in six equal parts. If we want to draw the pentagon then we will divide the semicircle into five equal parts. If we draw heptagon then we will divide the semicircle into seven equal parts and accordingly we will complete the polygon. So it depends on the number of sides of the polygon. In our example, we have completed the construction for n equal to 6 number of sides of a regular polygon. So if 6 is the number, then that is hexagon. Now we will construct a pentagon, that means a regular polygon having 5 equal sides. We will start with the line AB, that is length of the line AB is equal to 6 centimeter that is the side of the polygon. So let's draw a line AB is equal to 6 cm. So let's look at the point A and B and we have to draw one perpendicular bisector of line AB for that by taking a radius less than equal to AB, we 
draw two arcs to cut the line AB at point say C and D. We will construct a perpendicular bisector of line AB. Now taking C as the center and taking any convenient radius, draw two arcs on both sides of the line AB and taking D as a center, we will draw two arcs to cut the previous arcs. Let the point of intersection of the two arcs be E at the bottom and F at the top. So let's join the point E and F and this line is the perpendicular bisector. So it bisects the line AB at point Z. So taking Z at the center, let us construct a semicircle and diameter of the semicircle is equal to AB. This semicircle cuts the perpendicular bisector at point 4. Now taking A as the center and AB as radius, let's construct a, an arc to cut the bisector at point 6. Now this segment of line 4, 6 has to be bisected and for that we will use the compass. Taking 4 as center, let us draw one arc. Taking center as 4 and center as 6, both the arcs cut at two points. And if we join these two points, then this line will bisect the section 4, 6. The lines, line segment 4, 6 is bisected by this line. And this bisector cuts the line 4, 6 at point 5. So 4, 5 is equal to 5, 6. And from 5 to B, this distance is equal to 5.1 centimeter. So taking 5.1 centimeter as the radius, let us draw a circle taking 5 as the center for pentagon. Now taking B as the center, let us draw an arc to cut the circle at, at a point and the radius should be is equal to 6 cm that is the side of the pentagon. Similarly, taking H as the center, we will get another intersection point I and now also we can draw another arc from point A and also we can do the same thing taking I as the center. Both the arcs will cut the, uh, cut the circle at a point, let that point be Z. So now let us join the points B, H, which is one of the sides of the pentagon. Join H, I, another side of the pentagon. Then I, J, and the closing side is A, J or J, A. So this way we get the pentagon now. Now we can. We can measure the internal angle between any two lines and that is equal to 108 degree. So this way we can construct a pentagon but for construction of a heptagon we can look at another point 7 where 6, 7 is equal to 5, 6 and taking 7 as the center we can draw a circle and that circle can be divided into seven equal parts and that way we will get seven equal sides of the regular heptagon.